What up? We're back on the Trailblazer oil pressure gauge. Doesn't tell you the actual oil pressure. Now where we last left off, all I wanted to do is just hook up my super awesome oil pressure tester up to where the oil pressure switch in this thing sits. But due to the size of the oil pressure switch, none of the adapters in my kit would fit. So come to find out the oil pressure switch is a weird size. It's an M16 with a 2.0 thread pitch. Couldn't really find anything that I could make work to read the oil pressure there. But if you look at this picture here, at the very end of that oil gallery, there's like a pipe plug that sits at the very end of it. And come to find out, that's an M16 with a 1.5 pitch. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this little adapter from Autometer, the 2268, I believe. I'm going to thread that in where that pipe plug is and hook my oil pressure gauge up to that and read the engine oil pressure. Man, I hope there's gonna be enough room to crack that motherfucker loose. Well, I'm just wondering if it'll be easier to get from up top. You see that motherfucker right there? I think we're better off getting them from up here. So our oil pressure gauge is reading 40 and our real gauge is reading 70. So now that we have an oil pressure reading, let's do that test again and jump those two wires on the oil pressure switch again and see what happens. So two T-pins and just a jumper wire connecting the two. So with those two pins jumped, check gauge's light is on. The gauge is reporting no oil pressure. No check gauges light and we have oil pressure. All right, so we did the oil pressure test. If you go back and look into the manual, the minimum spec for oil pressure that they give is like 12 PSI at idle, I think. We'll have to go back and review that just to make sure. All right, so everybody open up your textbook to chapter nine, page 1,226. We're gonna go to oil pressure minimum. It says it's 12 PSI at 1200 RPM. Now that's great that we have an oil pressure reading and we have something to compare to the gauge. But in all fairness, I think we really should go all the way and make sure that this shit's official because I don't have nothing to compare that reading to. So within the last couple days, I actually got the fancy tool. This isn't the Kent Moore tool, this is the OTC version. I have a weird feeling that these things come from the same assembly line. Maybe that's just me. So just to be fair, coming up, we're gonna do the oil pressure test with the J tool. We can compare that to the monitored oil pressure that the computer's reading. We could do some more tests. We could settle this shit once and for all. You know what I mean? Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you've got a Trailblazer because parts are coming in every day for my 2003 Trailblazers 200,000 mile overhaul. <laughs>
Now you guys know I always keep it real with you guys. I didn't come up with none of this crap on my own. This video has been a long time in the making. I've been talking to somebody who's been documenting his 4.2 engine rebuild. His screen name is MRRSM. I always think of it in my head as Mr. RSM, but whatever. Basically, he was going to use that pipe plug to hook up this Franken oiler contraption to pre-lube his engine before he fired it up. The Franken oiler thing got me thinking that if that thing's on the same gallery as the oil pressure switch, then it should be able to read oil pressure as if you were testing it right at the switch. So shout out to Mr. RSM. If you guys are interested in a thorough write-up on a 4.2 rebuild, his thread's still active over on GMT Nation. You should check that shit out. So anyway, have to get credit to where it's due. This is memoirs of a mechanic, take 5008. This is a rear view mirror, it has a 911 button on it. Is that really necessary to have a 911 button? 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, um, I got a question for you. Hey, why is that Uptown Funk song popular? Like, why did it get like 2 billion views on YouTube? I don't get it. Maybe I'm missing something. What the fuck is Uptown Funk? 